Thank you, Jay. Just over 200 people died of suicide in South Dakota in 2021, according to the state. Now, a new website aims to help family and friends left dealing with the loss. Tonight, Kellyland's Kelly Volk shows you a new tool and how it could make a difference. Wendy Mamer lost her father, Robert, to suicide just over five years ago. It's never something you expect. It came out of nowhere. And I remember just feeling like, how can this be my life? At the time, someone encouraged Mamer to get connected with the Helpline Center's survivor resources, but she never made that call. It was that barrier of me being afraid to pick up the phone and call and have to reshare my story in a way to um, receive access to those resources that really prohibited me from um, seeking support. Mamer is now the suicide loss and support coordinator at the Helpline Center. A website launched today could help remove that barrier for suicide loss survivors. Features of the site include a resource guide on healing after a suicide loss and a remembrance page. A virtual support group is also being offered. This new website will help make resources more accessible to people across South Dakota, including rural areas. Suicide affects um, everyone across the state and not just those of us here in Sioux Falls. And so we're really taking steps forward um, to be able to hopefully fill those gaps that have previously been in place. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kello Land News. Now, the website and expanded resources were funded by the 437 Project, which is a run across the state that benefits the Helpline Center. To visit the new suicide loss website, just head to this story on Kelloland.com. Uh, over the past decade, advancements in technology have helped expand telehealth and provide additional services in some areas that may not have been available before. And that is especially true for patients in rural areas who can use telehealth to receive care across many specialties. Kelloland's Carter Schmidt spoke with healthcare professionals at Sanford and Avera about how telehealth has changed healthcare. Across the upper Midwest, you can drive miles before coming across a rural hospital or clinic. For the people that live there, having access to specialty care can be a challenge. However, technology has made receiving that care anywhere much easier. The time savings, the convenience, and then the outcomes are now starting to prove that they're as good, if not better, for multiple services. President of Sanford Virtual Care Brad Shipper says they've served over 6 million patients virtually. We've saved millions and millions of miles of, of travel. We have over 50 specialists that are connecting right now with, with, patients, uh, with patients virtually. Over 20% of our behavioral health visits are already done virtually and that number is only increasing. Back in August, Sanford broke ground on a new virtual care center, serving as a hub for virtual care across Sanford's footprint. It is set to open in the middle of next year. We'll be able to bring all those components together in one central hub to be able to deliver care, but that doesn't mean that's the only place where virtual care will be delivered. It will be delivered throughout our entire system, uh, but, but this definitely is the infrastructure and kind of the backbone to make that uh, much more robust. Avera Health also serves patients using telehealth. How do we bring our more than 60 specialties into these small towns, whether that's within our clinics, at the bedside in our hospitals or even into our patients' homes so they can really receive care right where they are. With the push of a button, a doctor in a rural hospital can be connected with a specialist elsewhere. The ability to turn on a TV screen and if you're having a cardiac issue to have a, uh, a cardiothoracic surgeon like just there to walk you through the steps of how to take care of a patient, it's incredible. Even though we're uh, geographically remote from everybody, like there's just so much support being an integrated system that we wouldn't otherwise have. Carter Schmidt, Kelloland News. Sanford and Avera both say telehealth has helped with the workforce shortages in healthcare since they don't need doctors for specialty care at every location. Coming up in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10, find out more about the importance of rural health care and how it's changed.